Alea, or marsh ghost light is the name given to a strange light phenomena occurring over the marshes as observed by Bengalis, especially the fishermen of Bangladesh and West Bengal. This marsh light is attributed to some kind of marsh gas apparitions that confuse fishermen, make them lose their bearings and may even lead to drowning if one decided to follow them moving over the marshes. Local communities in the region believe that these strange hovering marsh lights are in fact ghost lights representing the ghosts of fishermen who died fishing. Sometimes they confuse the fishermen and sometimes they help them avoid future dangers. Chirbati Ghost Light, also spelled Chirbati or Chirbati, is a strange dancing light phenomenon occurring on dark nights reported from the Bani grasslands, its seasonal marshy wetlands 20 and the adjoining desert of the marshy salt flats of the Ran of Kutch 21 near Indo-Pakistani border in Kutch district, Gujarat state, India. Local villagers have been seeing these sometimes hovering, sometimes flying balls of light since time immemorial, and call it Chur Badi in their Kutchi Sindhi language with Chur meaning ghost and Badi meaning light 20. Other varieties and sources of ghost lights appear in folklore across of India, including the Kalave Pei of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, the Kulayan Chute of Kerala, and many variants from different tribes in northeast India 22. Similar phenomena are described in Japanese folklore, including Hidodama, literally human soul as a ball of energy, Hinotama, ball of flame of Urge, Komandi, Ushnavai, etc. All these phenomena are described as balls of flame or light at times associated with graveyards, but occurring across Japan as a whole in a wide variety of situations and locations. Kitsune, mythical yokai demons are also associated with Will O' the Wisp with the marriage of two Kitsune producing Kitsune by literally meaning foxfire 23 these phenomena are described in Shigeru Mizuki's 1985 book Graphic World of Japanese Phantoms and Japanese 24. In Korea, sightings of blue white light at night are said to have been quite commonly reported even up to the 1960s. The light balls were usually seen flaming and hovering over rice paddies, near old trees and mountains or even in some houses and were called Dokbi Bol Korean to Kebi Bol meaning goblin fire or goblin light in folklore terms. They were deemed malevolent and impish as they confused and lured passerbys to lose their way or fall into pits at night. Medieval Chinese polymath Sheng Gui may have recorded such a phenomenon in the Book of Dreams, dating in the middle of the reign of Emperor Jia Yu at Yanzhou in the Jingsu province, an enormous pearl was seen especially in gloomy weather. At first it appeared in the marsh and disappeared finally in the Xingkai Lake. It was described as very bright, illuminating the surrounding countryside and was a reliable phenomenon over 10 years an elaborate pearl pavilion being built by local inhabitants for those who wished to observe it. I in European folklore these lights are believed to be spirits of the dead fairies, or a variety of other supernatural beings which attempt to lead travelers to their demise. Sometimes the lights are believed to be the spirits of unbaptized or stillborn children, flitting between heaven and hell. In Sweden, the will o' the wisp represents the soul of an unbaptized person trying to lead travelers to water in the hope of being baptized. 26 Unreliable Source Danes, Finns, Swedes, Estonians, Latvians, Lithuanians and Irish people and among some other groups believe that a will o' the wisp also marked the location of a treasure deep in ground or water, which could be taken only when the fire was there. Sometimes magical tricks, and even dead man's hand, were required as well, to uncover the treasure. In Finland and several other northern countries, it was believed that early autumn was the best time to search for wills o' the wisp and treasures below them. It was believed that when someone hid treasure in the ground, he made the treasure available only at the St. John's Day, and set will o' the wisp to mark the exact place and time so that he could come to take the treasure back. For then he could be fulfilled with treasures. The Arnavaki also known as Vervichuli Irreguli and Ereliki in Finnish mythology, are spots where an eternal flame associated with wills o' the wisp burns. They are claimed to mark the places where fairy gold is buried. They are protected by a glamour that would prevent anyone finding them by pure chance. However, if one finds a fern seed from a mythical flowering fern, the magical properties of that seed will lead the fortunate person to these treasures in addition to providing one with a glamour of invisibility. Since in reality the fern produces no flower and reproduces via spores under the leaves the myth specifies that it blooms only extremely rarely. Spunky in the Scottish Highlands where it would take the form of a link boy, a boy who carried a flaming torch to light the way for pedestrians in exchange for a fee, or else simply a light that always seemed to recede. 
In order to lead unwary travelers to their doom 32 the Spunky has also been blamed for shipwrecks at night after being spotted on land and mistaken for a harbor light 33 other tales of Scottish folklore regard these mysterious lights as omens of death or the ghosts of once living human beings. They often appeared over locks 34 or on roads along which funeral processions were known to travel 35 a strange light sometimes seen in the Hebrides is referred to as the time sit or fairy light, though there was no formal connection between it and the fairy race. The Australian equivalent, known as the Min Min light is reportedly seen in parts of the outback after dark 37 38 the majority of sightings are reported to have occurred in the Channel Country region 37. Stories about the lights can be found in Aboriginal myth predating Western settlement of the region and have since become part of wider Australian folklore. 37 Indigenous Australians hold that the number of sightings has increased alongside the increasing ingression of Europeans into the region. 37 According to folklore, the lights sometimes followed or approached people and have disappeared when fired upon, only to reappear later on. Piezoelectrically generated under tectonic strain. The strains that move faults would also heat up the rocks, vaporizing the water in them. Rock or soil containing something piezoelectric, like quartz silicon or arsenic, may also produce electricity channeled up to the surface through the soil via a column of vaporized water, they're somehow appearing as earth lights. This would explain why the lights appear electrical, erratic, or even intelligent in their behavior. The will o the wisp phenomena may occur due to the bioluminescence of various forest dwelling microorganisms and insects. The eerie glow emitted from certain fungal species such as the honey fungus during chemical reactions to form white rot could be mistaken for the mysterious will-o'-the-wisp or foxfire lights. There are many other bioluminescent organisms that could create the illusions of fairy lights such as fireflies. Light reflect. Ting off larger forest-dwelling creatures could explain the phenomenon of will-o'-the-wisp moving and reacting to other lights. The white plumage of barn owls may reflect enough light from the moon to appear as a will o the wisp hence the possibility of the lights moving reacting to other lights etc. 51. Ignis Vetu's sightings are rarely reported today. The decline is believed to be the result of the draining and reclamation of swamplands in recent centuries such as the formerly vast fenlands of eastern England which have now been converted to farmlands. To follow the lights meaning the wills o the wisp. He tells them that if they do, they will keep the dead company, and have little candles of their own 57. The Hinkapunk the name for a will o the wisp in southwest England has achieved fame as a magical beast in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. In the books, a Hinkapunk is a one-legged, frail-looking creature that appears to be made of smoke. It is said to carry a lantern, and mislead travelers 58. The children's fantasy series The Spiderwick Chronicles, by Holly Black and Tony Dieter Leedsy, includes Wills of the Wisp, they are listed in Arthur Spiderwick's Guide to the Fantastical World Around You. In the series, Wills of the Wisp are described as fat fireflies that lead travelers astray. The German fantasy novel by Michael and the Neverending Story German, Diane Endlische Geschichte 1979 and Ralph Mannheim's English translation 1983 begins in Fantastica when a will o the wisp goes to ask the childlike empress for help against the nothing, which is spreading over the land. The film, based on the book, does not contain the will o the wisp. Civil War Confederate soldier and author Sam Watkins writes in his war memoir Coach about witnessing jack-o'-lanterns, Ignis Fatui while standing watch late in the night near Corinth, Mississippi in early October 1862-59. American historian and historical novelist Frances Fuller Victor ends her poem A Letter with We Tread on Thorns Where We Saw Only Roses. And find an Ignis Fatus in a star. I am classical music, one of Franz Liszt's most challenging piano studies. The transcendental Etude No. 5, known for its flighty and mysterious quality, bears the title Fa Follets, the French term for Will O' the Wisp. The phenomenon also appears in Concion del Fuego Facho Song of the Will O' the Wisp in Manuel de Falla's Ballet El Amor Brujo 60, later covered by Miles Davis as Will O' the Wisp on Sketches of Spain. The German name of the phenomenon, Ehrlicht has been the name of a song by the classical composer Franz Schubert in his song Cycle Winter Eyes. Additionally, the first solo album of electronic musician Klaus Gulls is named Ehrlicht. Part 3, Scene 12 of Hector Berlioz' The Damnation of Faust is entitled Menuet des Follets, Minuet of the Wills o' the Wisp. Finally, the second piece in Edward McDowell's Woodland Sketches is titled Will O' the Wisp and reflects other composers' portrayal of the phenomena as Mysterious 61. The 2016 album Sorceress by Swedish band Opeth.
contains the track Will O' oh The Wisp using the term wisp as a short form of whispering. Several bands have written songs about or referring to Will's O' oh The Wisp such as K-pop girl groups Aspa and La Seraphim with their respective songs Illusion and Blue Flame Magnolia Electric Co-62 Vertical and Leon Russell and Steve Howe. The Will O' oh The Wisp is also referred to during the song Maria, in the Sound of Music 63. Will O' oh The Wisp is the opening track on the Pet Shop Boys 2020 album Hotspot in which the narrator, Neil Tennant, describes visions of a phantom lover from the past riding on an elevated train overhead. Will O' oh The Wisp phenomena have appeared in numerous computer games such as Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Castlevania, RuneScape Ultima EverQuest, The Quest for Glory series, Warcraft series and the Elder Scrolls series and tabletop games including Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering and Small World Underground. Frequently with reference to folklore of the phenomena misleading or harming travelers. The Final Fantasy series also pays tribute to the tradition of a Will O' the Wisp being a lantern carrying individual with the Tonbury creature. The Will O' the Wisp is also a monster in Chrono Cross that either moves away from the character as they approach or follows them when they walk away. It is seen in areas relating to the dead. In the Pokemon game series, the fire-type move Will O oh Wisp introduced in Generation 3 can inflict a burn on the opponent and is often learned by ghost types. The character of Wisp from the Animal Crossing series is also named after the Will O oh the Wisp and references the phenomenon by being a ghost. In the Mana series, Wisp is one of the eight Mana spirits, representing the element of light. In Secret of Evermore, a spin-off of the Mana series, Wills of the Wisp are small flame enemies located in a swamp area that move erratically toward the player. In television, Will O' the Wisp appeared as a short cartoon series on BBC TV in the 1980s, voiced by Kenneth Williams. In Lost Girl Season 1 Episode 2, Bo and Kenzie meet a Will of the Wisp who appears as a shaggy hobo and uses blue fire, foxfire to confuse trespassers in his forest home. Will O' the Wisp is also the name of the 13th episode in season 1 of Disney Channel So Weird in which one of the main characters, Jack, is possessed by a Will O' the Wisp while visiting the Ghost Lights Festival in Marfa, Texas. The Disney Pixar short Mater and the Ghost Light features a Will O' the Wisp aptly named the Ghost Light, described as a glowing orb of blue light. Will's O' the Wisp play a prominent role in the Disney Pixar film Brave. In a break from the usual characterization, these wills o' the wisp appear benevolent, or at least neutral in nature. They are hinted to be spirits of the dead, who aid the living by leading them towards their destinies. Will o' the wisp, renamed to Izaribi, is also the name of the reddish ship owned by Tekadon in the Japanese anime series Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron-Blooded Orphans.